So just relaxing into your body and your breath. I want to first tell you a story that I heard from Joe Dispenza about a doctor that came to one of his retreats. And what they do is they put brain scanners, all those little brain tabs on the head and wires coming out of them and they're hooked up and they're they're scanning the people's brains that are at his retreats and getting like the exact same results of everyone so they're proving it how meditation really works and how you can go even deeper and harder into your meditations with your like the building of the breath and squeezing off that prana tube, the, the mula bandha, and they bring up that energy all the way up through the energy centers. This is all like with big, great music in the background and Joe telling you, now bring it up, bring it up. <laughs> and and it, your mind explodes kind of and when I did it and I saw first thing I saw was Ram Das and Ram Das is an old meditator he got really famous um, back in the 60s for trying hallucinogenics and he was a professor at like an Ivy League school and then he went to India and found a guru and gave up the hallucinogenics but really got into the meditation which is just like uh, hallucinogenics and like I had a hallucination that I was talking to Ram Das during my meditation and I didn't realize he died in December I missed that news since I don't watch the news and I went and looked him up after my meditation because I really felt like he was saying, come closer, come closer, let's just talk, relax, you know, welcome to this cushy pad. And sort of seeing his eyes and wanting to go closer to him um, and hear him better. So like I was sort of listening, but just not really getting words, but getting vibes of welcoming me and then I also felt myself in space in that darkness in space and this is the part from last week that I love so much and how I got, got you guys there and we went really deep 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 in space and so right now you know your eyes have a sandbag on them. I want you to look into this darkness that you're seeing. Maybe there's some lights, a little light show going on. Maybe there's like TV fuzz of static movement, like red blood cells moving around that you can see through your eyelids or something, any trace of light at all or color, or if it's just black, black, and looking deep into that blackness. And <clears throat> also using like your peripheral vision, seeing how far this blackness goes around you out to the sides while you're laying here. And see if there's depth to this blackness how far in does it go this helps you to get very deep into your meditation because you're focusing on the blackness you're focusing for something a little further out there there may be something Just looking into the darkness, maybe all around you, and just feeling yourself in the darkness here. So this is 
where I was when I saw myself sort of being lifted up and I was like as if I was sitting in a chair and somebody pulled up the bottom of the chair and the back and so like my butt was going up in the air going up and then I start opening up and turning up and then I'm straight up and I'm floating straight up my arms are hanging down straight but I'm sort of unisex. I look like a model for art class where they sh it's those little wooden figures and it's just the proportionate size of the human head and the body. That's what I look like, except I was lit up like I was wearing a bodysuit that had light up basting down the, I think it's called, I, anyways, this little piping that goes down my arms and um, just highlighting around the edges of my body. And it was lit. It was a purple light. And that's what I saw when I was searching there in the darkness. And then as I was looking deep, I took my eyes up into the third eye and all the time I'm doing this is this breathing of pulling it up and in and holding it and letting it up build in my chest get really really big and just seeing what's around me and letting it go but trying to keep that pelvic floor up and the breath holding and just point my eyes up and then I saw light and I saw the lightness it wasn't black anymore around me. It was now light up above me, shining down into the blackness. And that's where my little tiny body was going. Um, and that's that painting I have that I just sent off. So seeing if you can see yourself in this blackness and I'm going to tell you about that doctor that was hooked up to the, all the brain monitors. She went into her meditation the same way I'm sure as I did. And she heard, saw, felt the frequency. And it must have been from her spirit to herself saying, or her guide, it could be her guide saying, I've been with you all this time. Welcome. So we're going to do this. We're going to go into this deep meditation and you're going to be looking and listening for a message or a messenger and you may see someone from your past, someone that you totally know and are comfortable with. Um, or like <laughs> Ram Das was who I saw. Maybe you'll see some, something like that. I want you to relax into this deep space. You need to let go of the body. So doing a little scan down your body and letting go any tension that you're feeling it's like send a breath to it and I want you to check your face relax around your mouth the muscles around your lips and your tongue relax the jaw muscles and down the neck shoulders and chest. Relax the face again around the eyes. Relaxing down both arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, completely relaxed.
relaxing the hips. Feeling your whole back relax. Fanning out. And then your hips, they sort of really relax. Because we hold a lot of tension in our hips unknowingly and our glutes. So relax the bum. Let it fan out. And down the legs, the knees, so comfortable, so relaxed in the ankles and the feet, just flopped open. I want you to think of the bottom of your feet Focusing on any sensation you may be feeling on the bottom of your feet. Can you feel your socks? Can you feel the blankets over your feet? Just focus on the heels touching on the floor. The backs of your legs completely relaxed. The knees and thighs and hips and glutes. The low back, letting go of tension. Coming up the back and down the arms. Back into the neck, the jaws, the mouth, and the eyes just relaxing all the way up to the crown of your head, and you're just starting to melt into the floor. And I want you to look into the blackness around you. I want you to concentrate on your breathing. It doesn't have to be exaggerated. You can take one clearing breath and let all the old air out. And then come to your normal breathing. Just let the rhythm come to normal and just noticing what is normal what's my normal breath and follow it through your nostrils making sure you relax the face relax around the nose and the cheeks and the eyes and the mouth as you're just listening to your breath coming in and out of your sinuses. Hear the breath in your head. Noticing the chest rising and the back rising up off the floor or your pillows as you are inhaling naturally. Feeling your body expand. And then bringing your breath to the belly. Making peace in the belly, peace and love in the chest, peace in your neck and shoulders, and anywhere in your body <clears throat> that you may be 
for some reason, holding tension, which would be like fighting yourself. You know, it's like, why am I holding this tension? And a lot of times it could be because of an emotional thing. And the longer we hold tension somewhere in our body, you can just imagine that that body part would more than likely wear out sooner than the rest of the body parts. So we have to let go of these emotions that are wearing out our DNA is what it is actually doing because you're sending signals which would send chemicals to your body if you're holding tension. And those chemicals, hormones, DNA, gets worn out the longer you hold that tension in your jaw, your neck and shoulders. So purposefully relaxing for the chemistry of your own body. And sending love and forgiveness for whatever may be causing that tension in your body. Because <clears throat> this overuse or this trauma, like a one-time big shock that lodges in, its, in your system and you like hide that away. I don't want to go through that scariness again. But you would hide it away in your body and someday like a splinter it would fester and have to come out in some shape or form of pain disease disorder just your body would fight itself from hiding something inside so long so back to the Joe Dispenza where the lady has that that vision of hearing I've been here with you all along welcome if you can realize that you have this giant loving spirit living inside of you that could give you your full potential of a purposeful life, tons of energy, and being relaxed at the same time. Having this knowing, the spirit is inside of you, and this spirit is super powerful if you let it be. But if you hide it away and don't acknowledge it, so this particular doctor that did this and had this vision, had eczema since she was three years old, and she was a doctor. Of course she's going to try to fix it any way she could her whole life, but after having that vision and that experience, her eczema was completely gone uh, in two days. So knowing that if you release doubts or release fears and full-on accept with loving arms this spirit that full-on accepts and loves you and seeing what you could do for yourself and really for the rest of the world the vibration would go up so much if we could all do this if you connect to that spirit and it's like let's let's work in unison let's not fight myself I'm gonna work in unison here I'm gonna heal myself and by doing the breathing is another way to connect to that spirit. In a lot of 
foreign languages, breath and spirit mean the same thing. And if you think about it, you take your first breath and you take your last breath, that is the time that your spirit is in this body. And once it's done with this body, then it, the spirit moves on. And so, connecting with your breath, thinking about your spirit that is inside of you, releasing tension in your body, and sending love and forgiveness to anywhere in your body that could possibly be aching. And knowing that this is not in unison, if it's, it's actually separate from you, you would say, uh, such as, my thumb hurts. It's like saying that your thumb is not part of you and knowing that if you love and accept yourself fully and completely and are in unison with spirit, breath, and calming yourself down, coming into quiet and stillness, and imagine the magical healing going on. I am whole. I'm very powerful when I connect. As I separate myself or separate body parts or I separate anything, I'm showing detachment from the unified field. So to jump back on the unified feel, you full on trust it and know its strength and power and you're in vibration with you. Also, vibration or er, meditation lengthens the tel telomeres in our cells, which lengthens your life. And especially the pumping of the Mula Banda brings up those proteins that help that. And so, any time when you're doing your meditation, if you want to bring up the pelvic floor and bring up the breath and hold it consciously in your heart, and letting it go out through the top of your head. It's such a healthy practice in the body and in your mind by bringing stillness and in your spirit by connecting. And so now that we know that it's possible, that even I did it, and that there are messages waiting for you to pick up at the front desk, like, hello, we're here. Hello, let go of that anger and resentment. It's only hurting you. Hello, you are super powerful being. Going to your heart center. Drop in, noticing the breath and quieting the mind. Imagine you're waiting for a message to come to your ears or visual or vibrational. 
Just be ready to receive anything. Trust it's from the greater good. back to the breath. If the mind starts wandering, just come back to breathing. Looking into the darkness, like what is out there? Is something coming to me? Or am I going to something? And listen, like sharp ears. What are you hearing? And it's like you're listening at a different level, deeper. find a little click in the wall right after we said that and I felt a message to me that said we are here that was a little sign for you that click on the wall that almost scared me just a little tiny thermostat noise and I jumped because I was listening so deep and I got a click. We're here. Pay attention to the breathing. Looking deep ahead. Maybe bringing the eyes up. Breathing and listening. Relax the face. Keep the breathing. Listening. the shoulders and the glutes. Come back to the breath. Relaxing the face. Looking deep into the darkness. Listening. Relax the eyes. Don't strain to look forward. Don't strain to look to the... Just relaxing and coming to the breath. And listening with your ears. And being ready to accept any message, any vision, just any f sense of assurance. And if you're not getting anything and you're focused on pain in an area of your body, Go to that area and breathe on it, forgiveness. And if a certain someone or something comes to mind, 
right? When you're like, who do I have to forgive? Or who would I wish to forgive me? See it in the past, whatever it was. And take a breath and send your spirit or your guides, send them to go just patch that up with love, saying, we forgive you. We're trying to meditate here and you're bugging us. So we seriously forgive the past and let it go and not letting it affect our meditation right now in this present moment. Sending it so much love. And if there was any body pain that was drawing your attention away from your meditation and thinking that whatever that forgiveness thing came up right then, this could be it. And seriously thinking, I've carried this around for how long? And it's wearing me out physically, mentally, and spiritually. It's keeping me disconnected. It's keeping me separate. And realizing that every single thing in your life is divine is actually part of this blueprint of your life you had before you even came down. Like, oh, this was meant to happen for my own good. And at that time, it might not seem like it. But if I look forward from that point on, better things ended up happening. But when I go back to that moment, I fight myself and I disconnect from source. And relax your forehead. And relax your eyes. Relax your face and your mouth. Notice that just thinking about that brought tension in your body and took you away from your meditation. So we take a breath. And when we exhale, we let go. We let go of that that does not serve us in this present moment. It was definitely in the past. It made us who we are. It doesn't define us, but we we made a lot of choices around that happening. I don't want that to happen again, so I'm not going to go there. It's relaxing that it was part of your plan and your choice is to grow from it or let it hurt you. And nothing is right, nothing is wrong. It just is. Whatever you choose. So if you could just be neutral with that and just let go with that. It's like nothing is right, nothing is wrong. Everything is natural and it just happens. And it just happened. And it's not happening right now. Right now you're safe. Right now you're loved. Right now, you could totally love yourself full on if you come to this loving acceptance and forgiveness. And you could be a very powerful being when you connect with your spirit. You could heal any old thing. Something that may have been bugging you for a long time, you are now letting it go and it doesn't make you who you are now.
and you happen to feel pretty darn great about yourself, knowing that you have this superpower inside of you, knowing that they've been there all along, that all you had to do was ask. and trust. And loving yourself even more and accepting yourself and forgiving yourself and forgiving the silliness of holding on to things for a long time and being very, very present and feeling your spirit inside of you. Maybe it's like this little wispy energy in your chest, loving you, hanging out with the breath and waiting for you to fully accept it and fully accept any messages guidance all for the greater good S accepting yourself And thanking this wispy spirit that's inside of you here whenever you want it. Thanking them for being with you. And knowing that you are going to call on them a lot more for guidance. letting go of the past because all you have is right now and right now you're okay you're good and coming back into the body Come on back into your hands. See if you can feel your hands coming back to life. And see if you can wiggle your toes nice and slow. And maybe make little fists and open them up. And feel some great energy inside of your body doing this. Your body is really just imagining the corpse. You're laying in corpse here. There's something else inside running all this. And being grateful to that. And knowing that our busy mind is always trying to stop all that from working to full potential and just say, thank you, mind. We got it. You can, <laughs> you can be excused. And just knowing and loving your body and loving the spirit inside of you and any messages that they bring to you for guidance and just like, I think I'm going to go with my gut. And knowing how powerful you are to
to heal yourself with this superpower unified on this quantum field. You are superhuman. And when you're ready, rolling on to the right side, keep your eyes closed. <clears throat> and knowing that you're, you are going to let a lot of stuff go when you get up. Going to shed anything that doesn't, doesn't serve you. And then when you're ready, slowly rising up. And rooting down. Very peaceful here with this, this knowing that we um, came to today and, and um, this release and all this big stuff. That was really big stuff. So we're going to bring our hands together and set an intention or we can dedicate this awesome practice to someone or something. And whatever it is you want in your life, if you just want to connect with that inner energy more, then that's awesome whatever you want and bow your head and honor it and honoring each other for sharing the space and know that I honor the divine in you namaste